Greta Garbo was a legendary Swedish-American actress. In 1999, the American Film Institute ranked Ms. Garbo fifth on its list of the greatest female stars of classic Hollywood cinema. Ms. Garbo was probably best known for her earnest beauty, her depictions of tragic characters, and her subtle acting. Ms. Garbo began her acting career playing a supporting role in the 1924 Swedish film titled, The Saga of Gusta Berlin. Impressed by her performance, chief executive of Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, Louis B. Mayer, decided to bring her to Hollywood in 1925. In 1926, her first American silent film titled Torrent, generated growing interest. Ms. Garbo's performance in Flesh and the Devil in 1927, her third movie, made her an international star. In 1928, Ms. Garbo starred in A Woman of Affairs, which catapulted her at MGM to its highest box office star, usurping the long-reigning Lillian Gish. This video will walk you through a portrait drawing of this iconic Hollywood actress. This will be our reference photo. Step 1 is to map key features such as the eyes, nose, mouth, shape of the face and hair, and upper torso. Achieving an accurate likeness can be challenging, especially for novice artists. Placing proportional grids on both the reference image and drawing paper can help ensure accurate placement and proportions. In the second step, we add the first layer of value zones. I like to divide the drawing into a patchwork of value zones consisting of dark, mid-tones, and light zones. Dark zones in this portrait include the crevice between the lips, the nostrils, nose shadow, iris, the crease above the eyelid, and hair shadows. Midtones in this drawing include planes of the face that are away from the light source, such as the area below Greta's right cheek, her right side of her chin, nose, and neck. Next, we refine and finalize the value zones in the face and hair. In this drawing, I saved the background and upper torso for last. We'll talk more about that later. Light zones include bulging planes of the face, hair, and torso that are directly facing the light source which is located at her upper left. These light zones would include the bridge and tip of the nose, the upper cheeks, middle of the forehead and middle of the chin. I like to refine and finalize the value zones of the face before completing the value zones of the hair. But that's just my personal preference. Of course, you can follow your own order preference. At this point, I shift my attention to refining and finishing the value zones of the hair. Again, this is just a matter of personal preference. When drawing hair, I try to make my drawing strokes follow the direction on the strands of hair. I vary the pressure of each drawing stroke so that highlighted portions of the hair appear lighter than darker portions. This helps to make the hair look more realistic. Once we've refined the value zones on the face and hair, we can move to the fourth and final step. In this step, we work on the upper torso and background, and we add the finishing touches. As you can see in the reference photo, the darkest value zones are Greta's vest and the left side of the background. I purposely saved these zones for last, and I'll explain why shortly. These dark zones make up a considerable portion of the drawing's total area, and charcoal can cover large areas more quickly than graphite pencils. So, in the interest of time, I opted to go with charcoal for the dark zones. The trade-off is that charcoal is much messier than graphite, so cleanup was more extensive. But I think I still save time using charcoal instead of graphite for the darkest zones in this drawing. I 
placed a sheet of paper between my hand and the drawing to help reduce the risk of smudging. Wax paper can be a better option. Despite my efforts to reduce the risk of smudging, some light value zones got smudged, especially the highlights on Greta's blouse. So, for those areas, I simply erased the smudges to restore the lighter values. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please like and subscribe. And to avoid missing out on new videos, please click the notifications bell. Have a great day.